This is the Asus A15 Tough Gaming Laptop. It's a pretty good laptop. In fact, it's so good, I decided to spend my own money on it. <laughs> and I don't like spending money on anything, so yeah, it must be pretty good. Uh, I've been using this thing for a couple of months now. I quite like it, and I figured, you know what? Let me review the damn thing. So, let's go. My goal was to buy a future-proof laptop, something I could comfortably use for the next five or so years with decent upgrade options. You know, I want to be able to upgrade my RAM, my storage, and you know, a few other things in the future. I'm not the biggest gamer. In fact, most of my gaming is done on the Xbox. It's just better in a lot of ways. Um, but now that I have this laptop, I actually do prefer some games on PC, like strategy games and you know, first-person shooter games. I just find it a bit experience on the PC. I also use a wide variety of software that could really benefit from a good CPU, uh, fast memory, fast storage and a really good graphics card and I needed to get a laptop that had good specs in these areas. So anyways, let's get started. Starting with the gaming performance. After all, it is a gaming laptop. So this laptop can play most games on very high settings at at least 60 frames a second, which is really good. I think the only game that I could re that I really struggled with was um, the Flight Simulator. Flight Simulator is a very graphically intensive game. Uh, most other games, this thing can just chow those games. I can play Doom Eternal at 100 frames a second on the highest settings. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which came out last year, 2019, I can play this at about 100 frames a second if I'm using high settings. That is amazing performance, especially for me because the last PC I used was like an, a Core i5 sixth generation it, it was hello old it couldn't play any of these things so for me personally it was a massive upgrade however when you are playing those games at the highest settings this thing gets really hot <laughs> uh, it's, it's got a decent cooling system uh, i think the cpu gets up to like 80 90 degrees celsius which is hot um, so you don't want to play this on your laps if you're a guy because you're not going to be having kids eh? <laughs> Video editing is something I do quite a lot thanks to YouTube and this thing can comfortably edit 4K videos without any hiccups, no need to make any proxies or edit in a lower resolution. I can export a 4K 10 minute video in like 15 to 20 minutes. This was a game changer for me because my old laptop, I think I would have to wait 6 to 10 hours to do this. Um, so yeah, it, this really did change and improve my, my, my workflow because you know, there's nothing worse than a shitty ass laptop on your editing, eh? The overall performance of this laptop is really good when it comes to gaming, graphics design, video editing, emulation, virtualization, coding, even design programs like, you know, AutoCAD, MATLAB, Blender, these massive softwares. It does a really good job. Now, why is it so good? Let's look at the specs. This thing is using uh, an AMD Ryzen 7 4800H CPU. This is a beast of a processor. It currently competes with the current 10th generation of Core i7 and Core i9 Intel CPUs. That's how good it is. The next best thing this laptop has to offer is the graphics card. This version of the laptop that I have here is shipped with a GTX 1660 Ti. This is actually one of the higher end models of this laptop. It's a really good graphics card. It's the reason why I can play all these big games at high frame rate. Not only is this GPU great for gaming, but any application that you make use of that is optimized to work with the GPUs is gonna benefit greatly from this GPU. As for storage, this thing comes packed with 512 gigabytes of M.2 SSD. That's the fastest type of SSD on the, on the market right now. And it has two slots. Only one of them is being used. So I can actually buy another one and upgrade the storage. And to make things even better, the SATA port is free. So I can actually add a hard disk drive or another SSD drive. So the storage capabilities on this thing are very future proof. And of course the memory, this thing came shipped with 16 gigabytes of 3.2 gigahertz DDR4 RAM. That is some very fast memory there. So specs wise, this thing is really good. But of course, a laptop isn't just made up of the physical specs, these four metrics, these other things. And um, another thing I was looking at is the ports. I like laptops with ports. I don't know why Apple is doing away with ports because 
people love ports. This thing has an HDMI 2.0 B, so that means I can output 4K at 60 frames a second. Two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports. A single USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port. This is actually my favorite port on the whole laptop because it supports DisplayPort version 1.4, which means I can output 4K at 120 frames a second or 8K at 60p. So Display-wise, it's very future-proof. It has a very comfortable tactile keyboard with uh, RGB backlight, which you can control in software or using these buttons on the laptop. It is a functional touchpad. It's nothing to brag about. If you've used the touchpad on the latest MacBooks, then anything else just feels so inferior. It's not bad, but there are much better things out there. It has a plastic chassis with very good build quality. It feels very durable. It doesn't flex a lot. Um, it doesn't scratch. It's pretty good. There are versions of this laptop that actually have a metal cover on the top. So look out for that if you're interested. The laptop itself is not too thick especially when it comes to gaming laptops those things are notorious for being massive but this one is uh, i was quite surprised how thin it was the battery life on the laptop is it's okay it's 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 okay i can do four hours doing normal tasks like web browsing there is a version of this laptop with a 90 watt hour battery which is twice as big as this one almost everything i've discussed about this laptop is either at least decent or in some cases surprisingly good like the cpu and the gpu so where is the problem? Well, let's talk about the screen. <sighs> Jesus. There are two problems with the screen on this laptop. The first is the range of colors it's able to display on the screen. And the second is the brightness of the screen. Let's start with the first one, the colors. I can't tell the difference. I've compared this with other laptops. I've, um, I've compared this with the 2019 MacBook Pro can't tell the difference i've compared this with other monitors i have the tv and all these other screens i can't tell the difference between you know the the, the quality of the colors and the quality of the pictures that this screen can can display compared to others so this for me wasn't the deal breaker the brightness though the brightness of the screen is is a bit disappointing i'm not gonna lie this is where you suffer for not having deep pockets but that's what you get for, for going for a budget PC. This is where they, they make their cuts. You expect it to be brighter. I remember the first couple of days I was using this laptop. Every five minutes I'll try to increase the brightness because I'm just used to a brighter screen. That's something you want to look out for if you're going to buy this laptop. However, I got used to it. You do get used to it. Um, I don't even notice the brightness issues anymore. That's the only deal breaker for this laptop. Everything else, in my opinion, is just great, especially for the price. I bought this laptop for 22,000 rands and it was the cheapest laptop. Actually, it still is the cheapest laptop for the specs you're gonna find in here. If you're looking for a budget gaming laptop that can comfortably handle the biggest games, at decent frame rates then this is a very good option thanks to its good selection of ports and specs this is a fairly future-proof laptop and um, it also comes in various configurations this is actually one of the more expensive uh, versions of this laptop if you enjoyed this video then let me know in the comments maybe i'll review other random shit that i own and um, check out the other videos on the screen right now and i'll see you in the next video okay have a good day